Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we will see this sum. In this sum, we need to draw auxiliary top view. See, front view top view is given to you, and they have already given you auxiliary plane. And this is ICSC 2015 TDA paper question 2B. So first, we need to draw given front view and top view of a pentagon, as shown in the figure. And then, see, first we'll draw this, and we need to draw auxiliary top view. So which will come next to top view over here here so what we will do first we will do naming and now I will project so this is 60 degree so this I will take at 30 degree always remember in auxiliary it will be perpendicular so if it is 60 we will take 30 if it is 45 we will take 45 here I am writing A and E so what I'm doing, I'm taking A to XY, whatever distance I'm getting, that I will mark from X1, Y1. See, this is 30 degree line. And from here, I will cut A. See this. So I'm transferring width. Then again, I'm taking E to XY, whatever distance we have, that I will cut from E. So this is A and E, see this, if you see what I am doing, I am transferring width. This you should remember when you are drawing auxiliary top view, I am transferring width. After that, I will extend B dash D dash, this bottom point. This is BD. XY to B and from here cut it over here then again XY to D so this is B and this is D then from C So you take x, y to c, and you cut from here, so you'll get point c. Then from o dash, you draw a line from o dash, now what you do, this is point o. Now you take x, y to o. So remember, we are transferring width. In auxiliary top view, we transfer width. It is very important from ICC point of view. In engineering drawing, nowadays they don't ask auxiliary. But you should know how to draw auxiliary. Now first thing, what we need to do in this, from visibility point of view, always draw the boundary line. So what I will do, I will join all the boundary points. So once I am done with all the boundary points, I will see from here. So O dash A dash is nearer to me and C dash is away from me. So, so point C is the dotted corner and from there we will draw dotted line. So C to B and C to D will be dotted. Remember O dash A dash and O dash E dash is nearer to the observer. We are drawing this in first quadrant. See this, this is nearer to the observer. So O to A and O to E will be dark. So if you see, we are done with auxiliary top view. Now here I want to explain you one important concept of axis line. Now many people, they get confused how to draw axis. Now see, when you have dotted line and axis, so you should always give preference to dotted line. So here axis doesn't have that much importance. See what I'm doing, X, Y to M. And I'm cut and I can cut over here or I can extend from O. It will it is one and same. 
so we got point M. Now if I'm drawing axis, it will be hardly just a long short and long however you can manage. You just draw this one. The basic reason is we have a rule where we give preference to dark line, then dotted line and then axis line. So in this case, I have dotted and axis line. So I'll give preference to dotted line. So that you should remember. I hope everyone understood this sum. Thank you.